As a parent, talking to your children about periods is really important, but it can be quite difficult and feel daunting, especially if as a parent, you've never experienced periods yourself. But for children, they can feel very confused or scared or even embarrassed talking about it. So it's our job as parents to make sure that we're informing them in a really open and honest way. So I'm joined today by Dr. Sam Wilde, who's Bupa's Women's Health Clinical Lead, to, to help share some advice on how we can best talk to our kids when it comes to periods. So Sam, what would you say is the right age to start having these conversations? I think we've got to consider that for most children puberty is going to happen between the ages of 8 and 13 and periods usually start a couple of years after puberty starts so the average age in the UK is about 12 um, so you've got to talk to them before that time and, and really from about the age of 7 or 8 a child would have a good understanding so you can start by speaking to them in, in quite simple terms mm -hmm. about what they should be, um, you know, what they may experience in the future. Do you think you should talk to your sons and daughters separately and should the information for boys and girls be different in any way? I think you've got to consider their personalities mm -hmm. and their age difference but at the end of the day we want the information to be the same. We want to be giving factual information, um, we want to avoid using any euphemisms or confusing language um, because we don't want to cause any embarrassment in, you know, if they're referring to body parts as something that somebody else doesn't understand, they, that might cause ridicule at school. So um, the information that we should be imparting to the children should be the same, but whether you want to do that at the same time will depend on your, on your own children. What do you think is the best environment to have these conversations? Because I think sometimes sort of over the dinner table can feel a bit a bit confrontational. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, well, I've always found with my children that the best time to talk to them is when you're not facing face to face. So on a long car journey, for example, or if you're out for a walk, um, you know, try then. But really, when it comes up, um, you know, if, if the opportunity is there to talk about it, then do it. That might be in the supermarket if you're buying tampons or pads for yourself. Um, it might be because there's been a TV advert on. Um, so use the opportunity. If, if a child asks you, and you'd be guaranteed it will always be at the most awkward time, you don't want to shut them down. No. You need to talk to them about it at that stage. That stage. I think I think what I've realised what I've done is rather than when does that conversation start with my child, I've just never done the stop because when you have a baby, whether they're a boy or a girl, you know when they're little, you do everything in front of them. So the first time it came up and my little boy asked me what are you doing, he was two, and I just explained and thought right, I'm just going to keep that going now. I'm never going to stop That's talking about it. You just keep building it. on the just conversation, keep going. and and you change as their understanding changes. Yeah. The language that you use with them and the depth of information that you go into. And for parents who are broaching this topic a little bit later than two, um, what can they actually say? So give them as much information as you can. So explain to them what it may feel like when they get their period, that they might experience some pain, um, that their periods might not be regular to start with. Um, it's a common misconception that the blood just comes out when they go to the toilet. So explain that they might see some on their underwear, they might see some in the bed at night. Um, and then talk to them about um, sanitary products. So um, pads, you might want to go shopping together to, to pick what they want to use and prepare a little kit for them to keep at school so that they've got a pad available. They might have a change of underwear or, or other clothes as well. Um, so they don't need to worry about feeling embarrassed that it might be happening and, and they're not prepared for it. Um, we want to break the stigmas. We want to um, you know, get away from what used to happen back when I was at school when we'd hide tampons up our sleeves. Yeah. Um, you know, it shouldn't be like that these days. We want to break those taboos. And I think don't be too shocked if your child already has quite a lot of information because in this day and age, children can access information. So there's maybe also something about asking them what they know already, which gives you an opportunity to correct any misinformation. That's so true, yeah. And I think that that is a worry that they might have been given misinformation. Um, so get their understanding be before you start. Thank you, Sam. I think there are so many parents out there that will find that really helpful. And I guess what we're saying more than anything else is do have the conversation, find a way to do it. Mm -hmm.